Well, Pipiana Whiston, here we are in the St. Michael's Church, is it? St. Matthew's in the city. St. Matthew's Church in the city, okay. Now, this is so unusual because you've taken this place over and converted it into sort of an exhibition of all the food that you've produced in Millennium Hotels and Resorts throughout New Zealand. Tell me about it. Exactly. What we've created here today is a marketplace showcasing each of our hotels, the regions that they come from, and obviously some really great examples of the produce from those regions and some fantastic recipes. Fantastic. And what's your favourite? Come on now. I mean, without being biased, nobody's listening. Yes, I think Rotorua is quite, quite yeah. yummy. But what are they doing? They're doing a selection of Chinese uh, dishes, mm. so some nice warm food for on Winter's Day. Brilliant. And then um, in terms of, uh, you, know, you gave me a little pack when I came here, and you said I've got to collect recipes. So each of the hotels has got some recipes, yeah? Yes, that's right. Our chefs from each of our hotels have put together some fantastic recipes. Mm. So the idea is that the invited guests today collect a recipe folder, lay the way around the room, and uh, collect recipes from our different areas. Well, Pidiana, thank you for your time. Oh, quickly, where can people get more information about Millennium Hotels and Resorts? On our website, millenniumhotels.co.nz. Millennium Hotels.co.nz. Thank you very much indeed, and I've got to go to eat some food. You do, thank you. So, Blair, Blair Chalmers, Popcorn Rotorua, what are you doing here today? Uh, I'm here representing the hotel for the Rotorua region. What sort of food then? We're doing Chinese. Chinese food. Because uh, our hotel is actually geared up for the Chinese clientele. Yeah. And we're just introducing uh, Chinese banquets. Oh, um, So, we've just imported a, a chef, a Chinese chef. And these are our menus here, so we'll be running these uh, from the 1st of July. Uh, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, I know time is the essence and I just wanted to make sure that every single person who is here in the room has had plenty of um, lunch. Okay, Andrew Whitaker. Now you're from the Millennium Popcorn Hotel, Kingsgate Hotel yep. in yep. Dunedin. Yep. So tell me a bit about what you're doing here today. Uh, we're focusing and um, showing off the regional foods here from our local states. We're hosting some um, mm. trade people today so that we can look at um, bringing them down to Dunedin for conferencing. So what about the food from Dunedin? What have you food, got here? We've got the white stone cheeses, some beautiful oh, blue cheese beautiful. and brie. And also a goat's cheese over there. We've also got some um, homemade bourbon brownie. And some new butters from the white stone cheese um, area as well. And obviously some Cadbury's chocolates and Spates beer. So Murray Cook, now you're from Kingsgate Hotel Hamilton. What have you got here today for us? Uh, we've got some uh, lamb backstrap with mm. some beautiful uh, mint and beetroot chutney on top of it. Really? And, and is that a typical... It's just flavoured with a goat cheese. Just okay. Bring a bit of butter in it. Is that a typical dish from your part of the world? Uh, lamb is very much. Lamb? Yeah. And uh, cheese is very well with the dairy. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Hey there, Tim. Um, so you're Tim Reynolds, your Copthorn Hotel, Auckland Harbour City, and you're here with your colleague there. Say hello. 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 <laughs> now tell me, so you're specialising in Indian food. What's the reason for that? Uh, mainly because uh, multicultural Auckland. Yeah. So we're going for that whole multicultural feeling. Mm -hmm. So, so what, what have you got in the box we've got there? We've butter chicken today. Let me have a look. Oh yeah, very nice indeed. So I'm going to eat that in a second. So tell me a bit about your hotel. Copthorn Hotel, um, Harbour City, sits right on the viaduct. Yeah. Uh, 187 rooms, all overlooking the water. Fantastic, good. Best pub of views in Auckland. And it's now time for some butter chicken. Hope you enjoy. It's got this. Is that better? Hey, we are so good to go. These two girls, you are fabulous. And so you know what I'm going to do? Because you stand there and shake and everything, I'm going to give you two spot prizes. You get a knife each. Now, darling, if you give me, I'm giving you a knife. Rummage around in your purse. Have you got a purse? If you've got a coin, a 10 cent coin, you've got to give me a coin back or otherwise it's bad luck. My ex-husband gave me a knife and the marriage was over in two weeks. So if there's anyone here who would like to give their husbands or wives a knife, I mean we are in a church, um, maybe you want to have a little talk to these girls. Um, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a privilege and an honour for me to be here working alongside the Millennium Copthorne and Kingsgate Hotels. Um, we've, we've got some fantastic culinary expertise here at the hotel. Um, Mr. Chu, Mr. Chu, please, okay? 
Mr. Chu, please wave your hand in the air. This man is the big boss at Millennium, and he, in actual fact, is so passionate about good food, he has designed Cotform prawns. And if you go up to him and wink at him, ladies, he will give you the secret recipe which he uses for his VIP guests when you have uh, conferences and incentives in his hotel. Um, I'm fading. What is that, sweetheart? I have to tell you, it's possibly me. I have so many circuits of power that in actual fact, I create an ever ready battery um, problem. I think over here. I, I just, oh, that's so much better. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the Hudson Halls of the food business, but we're not gay, are we, Pankhurst? Now, where are you normally? What hotel are you normally? Up to Auckland City. Okay, and he's very nervous because he's going to have to prepare this, but we are going to show you just how easy it is to make chocolate brownies. Because if, at the end of the day, when you're dealing with a Millennium Copthorne or Kingsgate person, they want to exceed expectations. They've got the 0800 number there for you just to go ahead and make your bookings. And it's all about, isn't it? It's about making people happy. And if you want an out-of-body experience, you need to go and see Ken Orr over there at the Wellington to try that beef Wellington. It is stunning. And your butter chicken is way up there as well, too. I've got to say, I'm impressed. Okay, this is how easy it is. Are we ready? All your names go into that basket there that the lovely Alison is holding above her head like she's about to wear it as a hat. All your names go in there, and you are in to win one of my classic cookbooks. Now, the Jazz Bar Brownie was made for us by the, all the team down in Queenstown. Queenstown people, could you please wave your hands? The Queenstown, these gorgeous people, bought 20 odd plus kg of brownie up from um, Queenstown. And because the chef is so busy with conferences down there, he couldn't come up, so he sent the brownie. So make sure it's my recipe, do try it. This is how easy it is. So, we have melted, should we just go ahead, darling? Shall I just tell you what to do? How simple it is. You melt the butter, you melt the butter and the chocolate. Now guys, don't rush this, because if it splits, it's not good. So over a wok of simmering water over here behind us, the uh, Hamilton Brigade, let me melt the chocolate and the butter. Into that, it goes into a bowl, and you add, now, vanilla essence. Now this is the next thing I want to talk to you about. Is there anyone here, I know it's a church, but can I ask you a delicate question? Is there anyone here in the room whose love life is a little bit lackluster? Could they put their hands up? <laughs> hands up, oh, thank you, darling, oh, thank you. Well, um, oh, if the person you. of your dreams, ladies, is under the age of 60, I'm saying this in a church, can you believe it, Peter? If the man of your dreams is under the age of 60, the answer is cinnamon. You add lots of cinnamon to everything. If he's over 60, good luck, but um, if he's over 60, uh, you add vanilla. So where's the vanilla, darling? Why don't you throw a bit more vanilla in there? Because I think this crowd is wanting a little bit more zoom zoom. Don't worry about measuring, just gay abandon, darling. Gay abandon, throw it in there. Now, if you are cooking chocolate in your kitchen and it does split, just get your kitchen whiz and put this into the sink, put this kitchen whiz in there and <laughs> and it will all come back into shape. I just wish you could do that to me, darling, so you could just go like, and I'd be in shape. So here we are, so you're looking at me, you're thinking, this woman is delusional. He is so used to not working with crazy ladies. Now, why don't you throw in the eggs, darling? We throw this into here, and we just have a good look. Peter, can you see, can the crowd see? Five eggs, but you see, he's from the cop form, so he's planned for contingency. He bought seven because he wasn't too sure what was going to happen here today in the, in the church. So he brings five eggs. Are you okay? Are you feeling comfortable? Yes. Good. A man of many words. Look, it's so simple. There's no creaming butter and sugar. Just melt the butter, melt the chocolate, and off we go. So we've got five. Fine, darling, it's all good. Are you feeling comfortable? Just throw this into here, sweet pea. Just throw that into there. Throw the chocolate, isn't that right? Oh, no, you put the, no, no, you don't. What am I? I'm confusing you. Strong sugar and darling and whisk it like crazy. Let's just see. Get those biceps. Another thing you can do in the kitchen to encourage good cooking is tell your husband or partner, oh, you're so strong. That usually works. That really does help as well. So you're beating the sugar and the eggs together really, really well until the meat is lovely and thick and creamy. Then you add the melted chocolate to that and then you add the flour. The only thing you need to know, guys, is the following. Number one, don't over mix it once you add the flour. Can someone tell me why? Hands up. Come on, tell me why. It'll give a 
Chef Sam Pangam, you're executive chef at the Oriental Bay, is it, in Wellington? Yes, it is. And what have you got here today? So you've got some beautiful beef, is it beef? Uh, yes, we've got some uh, Angus pure fillet of beef Wellington, yeah. served with some uh, Ohakuni carrot puree, yeah. um, we've got some sauce bernays, some truffle oil and some Jerusalem artichoke chips to go with it. Wow. Have you put on weight here? Sorry? Have yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's, it's not a Jenny Crave approved uh, dish, but uh, yeah, and we've got some Capiti ice cream, we've got some Black Doris Plum Creme Fresh and some Ginger Dutton ice cream from uh, Capiti, which is again from the Wellington region. Um, so yeah. Well, Peter Boyle, then you're from Millennium House Holland Resort, Manuel's Taupo, and I presume no connection with Manuel from Volta no, Towers? None whatsoever. None now, tell whatsoever. me a bit about your hotel and what you're doing today. Okay, um, our hotel is situated right on the edge of the uh, fantastic Great Lake Taupo, so hence why we're doing smoked trout and uh, blinnies today. Uh, Taupo is a world class fishery, as uh, everybody knows, world class trout fishery. We have some fantastic rainbow and brown trout come out. And our hotel is located right on the edge of it. We're the uh, only hotel with absolute lakefront dining in uh, Taupo. We offer two fantastic restaurants that are right on the edge of the lake. Edgewater Restaurant, our signature restaurant, and our beach brasserie. Okay, Pip Lloyd, now then, you're from Copthorn Hotels and Resorts, Hokianga. That's exactly right. Did I get right. it right? You did indeed. Now, you've got chowder here, a blinking big container of chowder. So tell me what's special about this chowder. What's special about it is, is it's actually from the Bay of Islands. Mm. Bay of Islands chef prepared it for today. Yeah. But it's special, it's got beautiful Northland seafood in it, uh, fresh fish. We like to use smoked fish. Um, it has mussels, it has shrimps, and it's just a beautiful, thick winter chowder. I better try some. Yeah, indeed. <laughs>